If there's one thing that humanity really does need to know but can't seem to learn is not to go to war with the birds. The war on birds has led to tens of millions of people losing their lives due to starvation. And unfortunately, we may see that happen again in the near future. Let's talk about it. Some of you may know about the great emu wars in which Australians went to war with the emus and lost. Twice. All in all, they can't directly contribute a single human loss of life directly to the emus, but it was to try to solve some of the farming problems. Rampaging packs of emus would trample right through farms. Ultimately, you just can't fight the birds. In the 1950s, in China, there was the Four Pests campaign. This was set to get rid of mosquitoes, flies, sparrows, and rats. We do know that Mosquitoes and rats can be disease carriers. We saw that in the 1700s when we lost what may have been half of humanity. But what of the sparrows? Sparrows do eat grain, and the concern was that they would lead to a famine. This campaign was really successful. They would set off firecrackers, hunt them down, and destroy their nests. But they didn't just get rid of sparrows. They very successfully got rid of a bunch of other bird species. As a result... They ended up having swarms of locusts, which did destroy crops. You see, there is a delicate balance between our avian friends and the insects that would otherwise destroy us. Some estimates say as many as 75 million people perished. Some more conservative estimates put it at 30 million. It took years to recover from this. Unfortunately, while nobody seems to be talking about it, we may face this again, but on a global scale. You see, H5N1 has a near 100% fatality rate in our avian friends. This disease has spread worldwide and is devastating bird populations. We are already experiencing the bird apocalypse. It's found in every state and just about every country in the world. That does include Antarctica, and that bums me out so much. The penguins. Think of the penguins. This thing has no signs of slowing down, and we've already seen the effects on our shelves with the price of poultry and eggs going up. Not to mention the price of milk because cows are getting it too. This is also the primary reservoir in which people have been getting it. It's not passing person to person, but it's mostly passing from cows to people. But that's not the biggest concern. The biggest concern is locust. Bird flu might not get you, but hunger certainly could. Most people are only three days away from disaster. That means that most people, at least in the US, have about three days worth of meals before they start to run out and have to put together weird concoctions. That means nine meals. That is what we are away from society collapsing. We may not really recognize it on a daily basis because of how artificial everything has become, but we live in a very fragile ecosystem. We rely on insects to pollinate our plants. We rely on birds to eat the excess insects. Interesting, we also rely on birds to transfer fish from place to place. Their eggs can survive in their digestive tract. It is cool. But we know that getting rid of the bird populations can lead to tens and millions of people starving. We are on the precipice of that right now, and maybe I'm wrong. I hope that I'm wrong. However, why isn't anyone talking about this? Than the tiny prokaryotes swarming in the culture. 